We'll explore the private rooms, the secret passages, the hidden stairways of his once luxurious hotel headquarters. We'll descend 40 feet beneath the streets of Chicago into a vast and little known tunnel system, one that may have been used by Scarface Al Capone and his men. Here in Chicago, in Miami, in Los Angeles, and on San Francisco's Alcatraz Island, we'll talk to people who knew Al Capone personally. Capone was an evil man. He seemed like, just like a big roly-poly teddy bear to me. He was just like any other hoodlum. He was lovable. He was sweet. Who do you think murdered your husband? Al Capone did. The Lexington Hotel here on Michigan Avenue in Chicago's rough south side now resembles, as you can see, a bombed-out hulk. It's battered and crumbling after years of neglect. But this building, believe it or not, can claim a proud past. It has a notorious and colorful history. Its most infamous guest by far lived right up there in the fifth floor corner room. According to survivors of that era, he could be a genial, even charismatic guy, quick with a joke and generous with a buck. But dominant was his dark side, his attraction to physical violence, his quick, explosive temper, his ability to commit cold-blooded murder. He was, of course, Scarface Al Capone. America's public enemy, number one. 